All right. So, time for more of this game. No, I just saved the game. Thank you. So, I have a bunch more kingdoms I need to conquer now, which is fun. <laughs> Do all the poking. I think I can already... So, I did not even need to conquer Illusio. That was, like, super easy. I think I can already kind of go to Cragspur. I have pretty good power already. I have a lot of fighting types and ground types from Terrera. Remember me now? So I think on my next turn I can just go straight to Cragspur and knock that one out. Nobunaga, um... Nobunaga is not in this area. Yakshaka should also be easy with all the dark types they got there. They do have a little- I think that I think we can knock out a bunch of kingdoms pretty easily today. But, uh, I'm gonna have to go my next month. Everyone has already moved. So let's advance! Hideaki, why do you keep recruiting new Pokemon? You don't need any- you don't need anything else. Here, get rid of your Mareep. <laughs> Stop poking my stream! <laughs> they can only take so much, there's- there's- there's so many things in the background. <laughs> you don't know how- how many fragile things there are that could break at any moment. <laughs> Literally any moment. <laughs> Okay, so I do just want to kind of smack him. Should I just go with this team? I probably should switch out you. You're you're gonna get switched out for Rhyperior man. Look at Rhyperior man. He looks like a absolute unit. That should be fine. And I guess I have to delegate you guys now, so why don't you just, you know, just, um, just do some searching for me, thank you. Hey, Glitchy, welcome to the stream. How are you guys? How are you doing? Do it. Yeah, I think I'll just go straight for Cragsburg. Oh, it's very easy to knock out. Oh, but I probably should switch the Eevee, unfortunately. I'm sorry, Eevee. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you're probably going to get punted by that Machop. <laughs> and I can't have that happen. I need to start training my Eevee, too. I know I'm taking Oichi with her Jigglypuff, but she'll be fine. Oichi will be fine. She doesn't need anything but Jigglypuff. It'll be fine. By the way, I hope you guys are having a good weekend. I hope it's been going good for you guys. I had a great weekend. The conquering is going splendidly. I am like, I'm ready. I have like plans. I, I know I'm going to conquer everything. Too many pokes. <laughs> All right, Wes. Have a good night. Thanks for coming by. I hope that you have a very comfy rest. Too much ambition can be pretty dangerous, you know. This is an ambition. The only one with ambition is Nobunaga. Why, you? We don't have time to listen to your silly excuses. Oh, that lady's pretty. I like her. That's right. I have things to do. Let's get things settled. <laughs> try is try is all you can really do sometimes. <laughs> anyway, uh, my friends and I started playing on a Conan server recently again. We had a very fun 
event where we just did a purge. We did a few purges. We just had a bunch of enemies attacking one of our bases. To have a little fun, um, the admin of the server gave us some items where he like multiplied the damage up to like the millions. So if you hit something with like a sword, it would just blow up buildings. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And now we're starting over, rebuilding stuff. I'm excited to play more of it later. I was I was tempted to actually play it uh, <laughs> instead of Pokemon Conquest because I'm like, I want to build my base, but, but I also want to play this game. Also, gotta be honest, I don't think Conan Exiles would be very happy to be streamed without a lot of setup. Also, I don't know if Twitch would be happy with me streaming Conan Exiles either. <laughs> a lot of uh, iffy content in that game. Okay, um, I just realized that they have rocks that they can punt at us, and I'm not happy about the, uh, the possible consequences of that. It is, it is a bit like our, yeah. Um, there aren't as many, like, mounts and stuff. A lot of the focus is like, you know, building up your yourself um, rather than like getting a lot of mounts and stuff. That is a bit different. Although you can like get a lot of creatures. They did an update recently though, and um, it's a little, I'm a little iffy on it. They recently added a battle pass to it, which, eh. I'm tired of every game needing a battle pass. I thought it was perfectly fine without having a random battle pass. Okay, that was not fun. You know what? They needed it. They needed the rocks because we're so powerful without, without the rocks. Battle passes are only good if you earn back everything you spent on set. Yeah, and like, I don't know. I don't know how I'd feel about it with Conan specifically. Like, it's it's weird to me to have like a survival game with a battle pass system. That's really weird to me. The whole point of like the survival game is like to get stuff from the environment. Not to like get these random things with money. It's so weird. To I don't like it. They do have, like, so what makes a bit more sense to me is that they have a shop where you can, like, get custom skins and stuff. Because they, they have, like, DLC things. So that that's kind of, like, not as weird to me. But a battle pass is, like, wild. I gave money to the god and items fell from the sky. Yeah. And the other thing is, like, um... So the battle pass, you get access to stuff, but it doesn't necessarily give it to you. So you still kind of like, it, it's weird to like, you buy something and yeah, sure, you don't instantly get it. Like the first thing on the battle pass, which I didn't buy, it's just there's some free stuff on it, is like an armor set. But it's like, okay, eventually I can maybe get this armor set if I want it. <laughs> but I still have to make it myself. <laughs> and that means I have to you know, survive in whatever server I'm in to get the stuff. Oh no, it's just weird to me. I, I, I can't... I can't deal.
I'm gonna punt this stupid Machop. Let's heal everyone who's took some damage. And you can slap that. Easy. Brad, he has a distance attack. That's a little weird for me. That's like the one thing I don't like with Shingen is his attack needs a very specific setup. He is a really good Pokemon though, so it makes sense. But yeah, to, to preface this, I have spent zero money on DLC and anything in Conan. The nice thing I will say is at least if your friends have like content, then it kind of indirectly gives you access to it. So, that's like, again, why I like, rather have like shop stuff. Because it's like, you can choose more specifically what you want. You know, you can make the weighted decision. With Battle Pass, it just, it feels like they're trying to trick you a bit. <laughs> and a lot of people spend money on Battle Pass and they're not actually able to like finish them either. Which I guess is why they have, like, perpetual battle classes now. <laughs> it's sort of like Mario Kart DLC. If the person hosting the game has a DLC, everyone else can- Yeah, exactly! Which, I do like that, that not everyone has to, like, have all that extra stuff. The one thing that doesn't work like that is, um, the, there's a DLC map to buy, and you can only use the map, like, people can only join the map if they also have the DLC map, like an arc. So I do, I find that unfortunate. I under, I kind of understand why, but on the other hand, I'm like, breath. Because in, in in Conan and Ark, the maps are kind of like a, th their own little kind of game within the game, if it makes sense. They have their own storylines and um, extra content, so I kind of get it. But for single items, yeah, you definitely want to have those be shareable. I did not mean to equip the potion, I meant to put that one away. Whoops. Hello, Riffy. How are you doing? Enjoying your day off? I'm gonna play some Conan. Like I said, this one was easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Whamulet? I'm not a Pokemon. And even if I was a Pokemon, I would definitely not be underrated. Hello, Nova. Welcome to the stream. No! We lost again! <laughs> Whoa, her hair blew up. Ow. Hey, do whatever you want, Riffy. I was gonna play after the stream. <laughs> okay, it looks like I don't have a choice. The castle is yours, Wham. But what will you do? We belong to Nobunaga's army. Now their castle's gone, we've got to go back to him. I don't much like that Nobunaga, but I can't see any other way. Riffy says, Chandelure. Ooh, I do like Chandelure. Is that considered underrated? I'm not sure. I've seen a lot of people, like, say that they like it, but I guess in terms of, like, using it in recent generations, yeah, it is. When it first came out, it was really popular. 
not not so much anymore. Hey, it's you again. How's everything going? <gasps> Wait, something's changed. I don't ever see anyone use it. Yeah, like I said, no one really uses it much anymore. <laughs> You're right, Lady Whammus Transform. I knew it. Well, that's great news. Here, let me give you a little something to celebrate. Ooh. If you go into battle after giving one of these to a certain Pokemon, like your little Eevee, you might just see something pretty special. Each stone will lead to a different result, but your little Pokemon might just evolve. Think about it and use them wisely. You know, you really are looking pretty impressive these days. I don't think you'll be needing any more advice from me. In fact, I'd better be off. True. Yeah, like I said, not, not many people use them anymore. I think um, for anti-trick room, other Pokemon have taken priority. Especially in uh, recent gens. But he's not even in the last gen anyway. He's not in um, Scarlet and Violet. So that, that is part of the reason why you don't see him much. I don't think he was in Legends Arceus either. Which is unfortunate because he would have been cool to see. But I understand why he wasn't. Doesn't fit the aesthetic of the game. Yeah, I know. I love Litwick. It's cute. Alright. So, we got a stone for our EB. And the super nice thing is we can actually just use it. Because we can just... Um, so, when we use the stone on our EB, after it evolves, we'll get more EVs next month. Hey, Snacko! Yes, we're on the Wham quest right now. How are you doing? Please check out Snacko for some epic snacks. Well, hey, it's also managed for. Hey, how is Hike by Ruth? How is that going? God, I want to get that game. I've been seeing so much gameplay of it, and it looks so cool and so fun. It just looks fun to look at. Like, I just want to. I just want to absorb the game. <laughs> God, I'm so jealous. <laughs> Ooh, you're you're just in time for something fun, Snacka. We're just about to evolve our Eevee. Finally got the uh, the items that we can use to evolve it, and I am torn between two options at the moment. I know, I'm so I'm between either Flareon or Jolteon because we currently do have a water type in our in our current team who got an Oshalot, so we don't desperately need the Vaporeon. Um Jolteon would be good because we don't have any other weaknesses we'll encounter with Jolteon. Um, but he's not gonna be amazing either because we don't get any more super effectiveness. Um, we do have the Firestone. Flareon would be pretty epic because we haven't done the ice one yet. So fire can still do us some good. So I'm kind of leaning towards getting the Flareon, especially because I've been power building this EV. What do you guys think? Flareon or Jolteon? Here, actually let's let's do a let's do a poll on this. I wanna I wanna see what you guys feel like. What did I evolve EV into? I know, they're both cute. Such a hard choice. But I will start I will start that poll. Plus, you know, what whichever one you see you get to see the fun poses that they get in Pokemon Conquest. I will say that um so Flareon, if I recall So Flareon can only hit one target. It does have a lot of attack. Um Jolteon has a bit more of a of a area attack. I believe it's lower accuracy. And Jolteon is more for like going across the map really fast. But both would be good. Banana. Two votes for Jolteon. Banana. And it doesn't matter like if you know whatever we pick, it's just what we have right now. 
we'll have more options to get later. So even if I get Jiltan right now, I can still get the other one on um, whenever the Eevees spawn. <laughs> Vaporeon so you can slap people with fishy tail. The only reason I'm not going straight for Vaporeon is because I have the Oshawott. Because I, I honestly probably would have gone for Vaporeon. Vaporeon I love to use. Vaporeon's a, a fave along with Umbreon. I like to use those two in my teams as like uh, the HP tanks. My wish EVs. Love Jolteon and Flareon are tied now. Wow, matter for last. Oh goodness. I hope someone votes on these last minutes so we can get it. Get some sort of win here. Or else I'm gonna close my eyes and just let it go through. Let it go random. Oh wait, I can't. It doesn't go through. Oh, there it goes. I'll just do this. And so whichever one it, whichever one it lands on, that's the one we do. Whichever one it is. All right, it's equivalent. Okay, we're just gonna do this random, guys. Just closing my eyes and tapping, tapping like crazy. When do I stop? I don't know. Jolteon it is. <laughs> Alexa, throw a coin. Alright, so... I think, then, the next best one to do... Because we can't just go straight to another one right now. Um, I think the next best one to do... Oh, actually, you know, Jolteon is great because I forgot there's still Avia. The flying one. So that's perfect. Um... Well, we're not gonna do that yet till Eevee evolves. We're gonna save that. Yeah, <laughs> we're we're gonna get spiky, boy. Just you wait. I think um, I think we do this one. Yeah. Then we just go here. So we got um, we could be good with that. Yeah, let's just go for it. Let's save. We're just speed running. Oh right, I can't I can't battle them yet, can I? Okay, I have to wait till next turn. <laughs> Whoops. Um, what I should do though is march people here to defend that kingdom. So let me march the electric people. March with this Charmeleon as well. Let's just march most of you guys over here. Just to defend that kingdom while I'm not there. Do I have another good electric type? No. I don't. I have this Rhyhorn. Let's march the Rhyhorn. Matt at first says Shuckle. It's because of saying I won't say here. <laughs> of, of saying he won't say there. Is Shuckle underrated? I feel like a lot of people like Shuckle. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people can't get enough of Shuckle. Am I crazy? There's a lot of Shuckle love out there. Maybe that's just me and my... The mate, like the many showdown videos I watch. You've never seen a single person use it. <laughs> never heckle with a shuckle. I've seen some interesting strategies with shuckle on Pokemon Showdown. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, and I watch too many showdown videos. All right, let's just go straight and attack you. Okay, Yaksha, you're going down. I heard that lots of warriors in Yaksha use Dark type Pokemon. Fighting type and bug type attacks are effective against dark type Pokemon. But psychic type attacks are completely useless. Also, I don't really recommend taking a ghost type with us. Oh good, we have none of those. It's perfect. We're perfectly fine. Look at this absolute unit of a team we got. We'll be fine. The Kingdom of Yaksha. Huh. So you're well. Powerful enough to stand alongside Shingen and Kenshin, so they say. 
It will make all the more satisfying to destroy you. What? Wham, you may be the source of great chaos in Ranse, but you are just a source of entertainment for me. This guy's really edgy. He looks like he reminds me a little bit of... What's his face? God, I can't remember what hand he's from. And you know, the Zorg fits you perfectly, sir. <laughs> Let's beat you. Oh, I like the Zorg, though. Look at that. I love Zorg. It's cool. I love to use its illusion ability. I hope you're ready for some genuine hospitality. I'll show you things you can't see anywhere else. That's creepy. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. There's water. There's plants. Um. Yeah, I guess we just go forward and go for it. Ooh, maybe he did make cookies. I hope so, too. gonna line everyone up. Let's see what he does. Kotaro. Got all your ninjas going in. Why are they all saying the same thing? Are these clones? I'll show you how a ninja fights. Okay, that guy, that guy I like. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. He has a twin brother. All right, Katara, what are you doing? Okay, easy. I just punch everyone. Hmm. What's the best option for me right now? I need you to deal with Zork because you're the best one to do that. So wait here. Um, but I will do this so you don't get too close to my snivy. And then, uh, you go over here. You can deal with that, dude. And, uh, we'll just, dude, we'll just hang out. Um, we're fine. They can, they can come towards us. They can work, they gotta put the work in. Wow, that was weak ass. As soon as my strat is, I just let them- Oh god, he- Whoa. That's a fun move. Oh, my accuracy. Ow. Chomp. I can deal with that. Rolette? What's happening? <laughs> what? What? Huh? What? Why does he get to go in there? Hold on. Bruh. How? How? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> how rude. He hacked the system. Glitchy says, if going by Smogan's really use category for Scrub Violet, I'd say all the evolutions. <laughs> really? The evolutions are now underused? That's interesting. Well, at least the Zork is out of the way right now. No matter how much you struggle, people will continue to fight. Ow! <laughs> I demand a recount for the EVs. Hey, ASL, how are you doing? Nice try. It's all just a waste of time. That's what you think, Otaro. You know, it's a waste using a Dark-type move on a Fighting-type Pokémon.
What did he just do? See what? Look what you did. You trapped everyone over there. Oh. There goes the Zork. Damn, I was hoping he would stay there. Waiting for the break so you can do your traditional one damage to wham. You know, you did remind me. I, I keep forgetting to take breaks on my last streams. I've just been, like, going on through the whole stream, and I'm like, oh, wait. I never took a break. No wonder I'm tired. <laughs> Thank you, Maya, for reminding me I need to take breaks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Glitchy. I belong to Rick today. Rock and me is like, no. <laughs> no one's allowed to throw anything at Snacko. I forbid it. He protect. He attack. But mostly he love the snack. <laughs> oh, Naren, so I need to do more rig work on Ricochet. I think that's what I'll do on Friday, some more rigging work. There's, although, then again, there's some that I kind of want to redo, and I don't know if I want to redo them on stream. <laughs> Maybe I'll redo them before. Catch me late up tonight, working on that, because I'm crazy. Let's move you up so you can get your lullaby in. Tisk tisk. That quick ball's not gonna work anymore. Like a true quick ball, they are only useful in the first five minutes of the stream. <laughs> true to life. Oh god, what is gonna happen? Take the Oshawott. Oh, okay, bye. Adios. Wow, he just got moved. Huh. Gonna have to talk to your Twitch channel for not stock. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna have to just wait for exactly the right moment. <laughs> this would deep six percent a lie. <laughs> Come on, Evie, you got this. Oh, okay, you missed. Smack! And with this, we're able to get it away from our Oshawott. We get a heal in. Oh yeah, Absol. Poor Absol, because it's such- It's a glass cannon, but it is an unfortunate typing that uh, it's unfortunately not able to make use of that attack very often. Really unfortunate for Absol. Which I guess is, you know, fitting for Absol. That it's luck it just never lands it in a correct, in a very nice category. <laughs> oh my goodness, that did a lot of damage to Jigglypuff. Oh, that's gonna hurt. No, Eevee! <laughs> Bruh, he had a fighting type move instead of a dark type move. How dareth you? Mmm, what's the best way I can do this? Oh, like this. Two at once. Come on, you got this. Okay, you don't got this, it's fine. Come on, smack him. Hit him. 
There we go. Got him. How dare you kill my Eevee! I should have used that ability earlier. Yes. Ow. My Jill Leap Up's gonna go down after this, it looks like. Yep. Ugh. I need to take care of that guy. Oh god, not the roulettes. <laughs> okay. That's alright. I can afford to lose that one. I have an idea. Timer ball works a bit better than the quick ball later in the stream. Yeah, put on that wristband. Get strong. We gotta avenge ourselves. Ow. Hey. He broke my item. Freaking rude. You're out of say, Shingen. Um, I probably will switch you out for a different person. The rock wrecker is not doing me too much help. No matter what trials I may face, I will resist with all my might. Thanks, Motochika. I don't know if that's gonna account for evolution or not. I guess we'll see. <laughs> Everyone left. <laughs> they all retreated, the cowards. Ha. Huh. If only for a moment you kept me entertained. Your impending battle with Nobunaga, the thought of it excites me more than I expected. Farewell. That sounds pretty ominous. I guess Nobunaga's army is full of people like him. Probably. Something's happening to Ebi. What could it be? Ba -na -na -na. Look at that! Look at our spiky boy! Hooray! Aw, oh, look at him! He's so cute! Look at that little pose he's doing. <laughs> Diltion, it's weird, but I feel an even stronger power from you now. Do you get the same feeling? Stay friends, Diltion. She uses Jigglypuff as a shield. Jigglypuff is pretty buff looking. It's just a big cushion. A big pillow. Look how much stronger Jolt has now. 294, geez. Lady Wham! It's my Pokemon! Oh! Is Oichi's Pokemon evolving? Jigglypuff has been acting kind of funny ever since we started fighting against Nobunaga's army. And just now she gave me this. Did she give you a Moonstone? Oh, what is that? A Jigglypuff charm? What on earth is it? I mean, it looks like it might be really rare. I don't know, let's look at it! <laughs> Prevent status ailments. Oh, nice. I'll give you that. Very handy. Alright. Let's look what we got in here. We got Beedrill. 
a Beedra Lady. And we got some if some okay ish Pokemon. Let's go ahead and get your energy levels up, bros. Pick some Pony Geary. And then, um, let's go ahead and test out our new Pokemon, shall we? Let's test out our Jolteon. Look at him. Look how nice, look how cute he is. I'll show you what I'm made of. Okay, well, Jolteon's not in a great starting position, but look, so he has Thunderbolts. So if you look above my ear right there, above, above my ear, he can hit three squares a space away from him. So he's pretty good, but the, you have to be careful how you position him. Let's break this rock. Punch. Not a cool looking bee drill. It's Kurt! We gotta get Kurt. Wow. You missed on a mud slap plus two. Tragic. Now you die. Death becomes you. Okay, so I can move really fast, and if I do this, I can even move faster. Look at that. And now... Wait, no, I need, uh, um... I can't technically go on this. I have to, actually, because I can't do this, apparently. That's dumb. Alright, on the poison I go! <laughs> oh, nice critical hit! Worth it! Are we gonna one-shot everyone? Oh man, we did. We strunk! We strunk! Now we can retreat B drill lady. Her oh you're already maxed out. Well, we're gonna have to switch your B drill out for something better. Yeah, uh let's put you for who's searching? Let's put you in this one. Oh wait, oh that's right, I can't do that. Um Let's just put you here then. Oh wait, no. This one. That one's also searching. Oh, I forgot to check for EB. I think I think they normally do a notice when an EB army thingy shows up. Um Shoot, I forgot to check. Uh... I think there's supposed to be, like, a notification in one of the places. When Eevees swarm. I'm pretty sure, but let me double check. Wham the Eevee tree. I need to have all the Eevees. Infinite EVs. I think it's supposed to tell you. I'm pretty sure, but now I'm like, did I miss it somehow? Did I did I mess up? I hope I didn't.
they should show up at, at periodically until I get another EP. <laughs> Otherwise, um, well, it's fine. We have Jolteon. <laughs> Let's try to get, um... There's a couple people with Ralts in here who look cool. Let's go ahead and add them to our army. Let's go! That should be fine. Our dark type. And I got a bug. Wait, what move does Beedrill have? I didn't check. I'm gonna regret that. Okay, it's Twin Needle. Sweet. How far can I move? Oh god, they can do way more to me than I can give them. Let's go and intercept. Yeah, watch me. I'm gonna be all Penny in this game. I'm gonna get all the Eevees and just make a team of Eevees. Infinite Eevees. Go, Chingling, go! That hurts, didn't it? I keep clicking the wrong item. I keep thinking the one I click is the one I discard or something. I don't know why. Don't ask me how my brain works. It doesn't work very well sometimes. Especially when I just have a head empty. Eevee only. Eevee is the only thought that occupies my mind. What is Vanguard? Seems cool. I'm in all of your talent. I cannot compete with you. Great! I can recruit them. Yes, please. Recruit Sen. And I will put you... Um... Where should I put them? That's pretty empty. A bunch of them are, but I need something that's like almost full. It's Piplup's evolving. Nice, we got a print plop. Well, wow! Oh, the Charmander is evolving too. Who else? Everyone's evolving. Everyone's getting stronger. All the evolutions. <laughs> wow, this is incredible. Are we are we done with the evolutions? Okay. <laughs> I was like, do we got another one? Okay, let's... Ooh, there's a little lot happening here. Let's go and clear this out for some EXP levels. 
Oh wait, what does that tree do? I didn't look at that tree. What does a tree do? Tree? Magic tree? Ooh, she has discharge. That's pretty epic. Oh, it's... Ugh, I remember this field in Elysio. I remember I would come here a lot. I don't remember what it was for. I think it was just training stuff because a lot of Pokemon showed up here a lot. But the portals plagued my mind. <laughs> All these portals are so annoying to deal with. <laughs> There's just so many of them. Uh oh, looks like my Twitch disconnected. Hello? Okay, hold on one sec. I gotta reconnect. To everyone who is uh, watching the YouTube VOD, hey! You're still here! Don't worry about me, I'm just fixing my stream. Do 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 do. Hello, are we back? Are we alive again? Hey guys, if you're back, um, hot news tip if this is the VOD that I leave on Twitch. Uh, I'm gonna post the full VOD of this on YouTube. It'll be- the link will be in the description. So, don't- don't- this is only half the stream. Uh, I recommend that you join the VOD down below if you want to watch the full stream. But hey, if you're here live, welcome back. We're- we're back again. <laughs> Nothing bad happened. Just uh, Twitch being a butt. Or OBS being a butt. One of the two. Probably OBS. TBH. The solution, though, is to always restart. It works. Poor Joltik can't do anything. Go, Joltik, go! This rufflet. This rufflet's gonna end my career. Have you move first. Can I jump? No, I can't. How come you could jump, but I can't? I'll take care of those two. And what is your ability? You can probably inflict a burn. Let's do that. There we go. And you can Electro Ball. Smack! Alright. Respond to that. We appear to be having difficulty. I'm also having difficulty. Technical difficulties. There's officially a lot of Rothslime Pokemon in here. Yeah, I wonder if it has to do with all the psychic energy emanating from this place. Very odd. I even brought my own. He's just saying hello to his fam. And I'm gonna- I'm killing his fam at the same time. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> Bruh. That was pretty epic, not gonna lie. <laughs> that 
That was pretty epic of you, Ralts. I have to admit. But watch this. What bam Didn't see that coming out, did ya? Okay, you did see this coming. You have you also have the psychic instincts. Oh, where are you going? You're running. Come back here, coward. Also, if you don't notice, the portals are, like, changing. Adding to the fun. There they go again. Roughly, why did you come down here? That was a terrible mistake on your part. Boom. No instincts will save you now. Okay, we're just gonna, um... Divide and conquer. We cover every part of this field. You'll have nowhere to run to. So come over here. Okay, he's just walking off on his own. He's having a great time. Unfortunately, I can only hit you from here, so I guess I'm going bye-bye. Oh, yes, critical hits. Let's go. Sweet. You know, I have a lot of materials that I can use to make things, but I'm not quite sure what I can make. I will recruit you, sir. Please join my army. Thank you very much. Soft clay? Is this RuneScape? <laughs> RuneScape? Are you here? There is a lot of- a lot of violence. A lot of very real violence. Let's throw you on... Let's just throw you here, I guess. Oh, your Starly's evolving. Sweet. Da, 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 da. A lot of evolutions everywhere. Every... You get an evolution, and you get an evolution, and you get an evolution. Oh, look, it's on his arm. Isn't that cute? Oh, God, no, but you've terrified me with that. You have unlocked Stronger Burb. That's so cute that he has it on his arm. Star Arabia, I sense a great power than I did before. Do you feel it too? I feel as though I could become stronger if you're around, Star Arabia. Let's stay friends. Bird power. Ooh, there's an Aeron in there. I love Aeron. Let's just go clean up shop. I mostly just want to recruit that Aeron really bad. And there's a Scythe there. That's cool. But Aeron, though. Let's see. The site there is right there. That concerns me. Punch it. Site there is part flying type, so. Go! Ha bam! John Jolteon Thunderbolt him! Oh, that's not good for me.
We'll just hang out here. Another bad day for the uh, Sand Isle. Very unfortunate. Happens. Happens to the best of us. Actually, Jigglypuff is immune to status effects, I just remembered. So, I could have put Jigglypuff in the poison just for funsies. <laughs> Try this on for so He healed! How dare you! How dare you heal? I will hurt you. Again. And he's swarming yet again. Oh, god, that Bidoof is gonna not have a good day. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye? <laughs> That's not what I meant to attack. Jigglypuff is immune to your poison. Let me break this. What bam? Oh yes, I do like Godzilla. I'm a big fan. Love his work. Artistry. Artistry is what he does. Por que? What do you ask? Ooh, a plushie! Please do share. I want to see this plushy Godzilla. And smack. Alright, I'm holding you to that. I'm imagining a plushie so large it's difficult to fit in the car to bring it home. Oh my god, that would be my dream. A, a ginormous plushy Godzilla. That would be so huggable. You wouldn't even need a bed. You could just, like, sleep on it. Alright, advance another month, please. Hey, listen to this! This super rare Pokemon has been seen in the park in Craxfer. Let's go say hello. I wonder what it seems to be. Hmm. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is what I think it is. I'm pretty sure this is what I think it is. Wait, what? Okay, no, there is an Eevee there. I just have to move over there. <laughs> Do I know the Costco bear? Um, no? What is this Costco bear you speak of? Tell me. Tell me more. Massive. I need to look that up on Google. Hold on, let me go to Google really quick. Google? Costco Bear. Oh my good. Oh, you know what? I have seen that bear. I just didn't, I didn't think about. Yeah, I have seen that. <laughs> Big. Big boy. He do be a heckin' chonker. Alright, let's go get that Eevee. Bum, ba, da, da. Die. 
Come on, critical hit. Da. So close. I hate Rock Blast. <laughs> you got him for your sister. He must have been really happy. That thing would take up most of my house. TBH. <laughs> Um, how do I link? No. There we go. EB, join me! You know you want to. It even has its own Wikipedia article? Really? Wait, hold on. I gotta look this up. The Costco Bear is a giant teddy bear manufactured by the Hug Fund International Inc. and sold primarily at Costco stores. The teddy bear is 8 foot tall, tan in color, and costs $290, including shipping. Oh my god. It weighs 48.5 pounds as an intended for ages 3 plus. This Costco Bear has appeared in a number of television programs, including a commercial for your bringing up babies, Jimmy Kimmel, The Big Bang Theory, Fans of Hershey Bears tossed a Costco bear over the glass during the annual teddy bear toss. The Seattle, Seattle Children's Hospital and Seattle Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson appeared in a commercial for the plush bear. And the teddy bears of the Go Goblins in Paris. Uh, the owner of a bookshop in Goblins neighborhood began lending out oversized teddy bears. Lending out $300 teddy bears? Oh my goodness. That's a big amount of money. <laughs> oh, I've seen that Snorlax. <laughs> hey, the moths. How are you doing? I'm having a very important conversation right now. Yay! All right, and I have a stone to use on this EV as well. Okay, equip. You didn't want me to get the Eevee? Well, too bad. It's 45 pounds. Okay, guys, now we gotta decide. Firestone or Waterstone? I'm leaning towards Firestone, but I will let this be a choice about what we'll give our second Eevee. So. What should our second Eevee be? Unfortunately, we cannot get ice yet, and I do want to have two of these. Just to switch between. So. Vaporeon and Flurry will be the options. Poll is up. Feel free to vote. Whatever votes. If it ties, I'm gonna do randomly again. But if it does not tie, we'll go with the winner. <laughs> and while that poll's going up, I'm actually gonna BRB for a quick break. Uh, need to grab more drink. So. Stay tuned, guys. I'll be right back for more Pokemon. Feel free to vote. Get those votes in, por favor. And we will be resuming very shortly. See you soon. All right, we're back. Um, I just realized I missed to win who won the poll, and I don't know how I can make it show up again. Um, did anyone see who won? <laughs> I, I can't see where the poll result is. Vaporeon? Okay. Thank you. I trust you, Mop. 
because you would have said Bitflareon. Alright, so we'll evolve our EB2 Vaporeon. Hey Darius, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream! Another person playing hi- I got everyone is playing Hi-Fi Rush and I'm so jealous of them. How are you doing? Good vibin', hell yeah. It's vibin' Sunday here. Um... <laughs> well, good to hear that. Did you figure out what you're gonna do for your uh, new transition yet? I'm excited. Let's do this one. The Drillber in it. Is that the correct name? Drillber? I think that's Drillber. I get fuzzy with Pokemon names after after fifth gen. Was Drillber fifth gen? I think so. I used to know them in Pokedex order, and look at me now, I can't even remember the name of them all. So tragic. By the way, while I was gone and grabbed a new drink, um, I checked on my dog. I just bought him, like, a new toy. Because I usually buy him a new toy at the beginning of the month, and it's almost February. He, he needed a new toy. He kind of destroyed the other ones. So, I got him a new toy. I got him, like, his favorite one, actually. He loves this, like, um, this Kong octopus toy. It's, like, this purple toy with stretchy limbs. He loves it to death. Literally. So... I just checked on him to see how he was doing, because I saw he was playing with it. And he's already, like, very cleanly torn off two of the octopus's limbs. It's been- it's been only a couple hours since I got him this toy. And he's already reduced it to a- to, like, a- a hextopus. And, like, it looks like it got cut with scissors. He's gotten so good at chopping them up. That's how clean the cut was. It was, like, a straight line that he made with his teeth. <laughs> I need to get- I, like, I, I think my mistake was buying him the same toy. Because now he's just becoming an expert in demolishing it quicker. I need to get him, like, a new toy every time. Because I- I don't know what I'm gonna do now. It's just... <laughs> I can't do anything. This is a twenty dollar toy. <laughs> the only thing that survived your dog was a thick rubber squeaky ball. I have like some um like, I have, like, a plastic bone that he likes to chew on, and, um, I have, like, a couple of those, like, uh, hard, rubbery Kong things, but he mostly likes to, he only likes to play with those when they have, like, food on them. The only toy that he entertains himself with is, like, anything that's, like, rippable. <laughs> Which is unfortunate, because then he rips them apart. Really? You missed. Dogs can destroy bones, there's not much that can survive them, that's true. That's true. I, I should I should just be glad that he he only does toys and doesn't do like my furniture or something. I should be th I should be grateful. <laughs> Bruh, girder, you keep missing. I'm using you because you're such a strong Pokemon, even though I don't like you, and you keep failing me. I have very- there's very few fighting type Pokemon that I like, I gotta admit. Hey, 
Fairy, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. How are things going with you? I hope you're having a good Sunday. Thanks for coming by. Another streamer you guys should check out. A lot of streamers in chat that you guys should check out. Please, please, please. There's Snacko. There's Darius. There's Madifer. There's Ferrets. There's so many. We come back on the sofa and just run into tiny feet. I, I was afraid of that, to be honest. Anytime that I have a long work day where I have to be gone for like six hours, I'm like, oh goodness, what am I going to come back to? I have to, I have to make sure to like, I close my doors to any room with like a trash can because he has gotten bored and dug through the trash, even when there's just paper in there. Hitmon top is the best fighting type and I will die on that hill. I gotta say, I do, I do like Hitmon top and Hitmon Lee. Hitmon Chan's okay. I'm not really a big fan of Mankey. Um, not. Let me see. I'm trying to think of like any fighting types I do like. I like. I like Scraggy. I like Riolu in the Cario, but who doesn't? That's not surprising. I like. Ooh, Mean 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 Shao and Mean Fu. Mean Fa Mean Fu. I like those ones. Those were Gen 5, I believe? Don't call me I think they're Gen 5. I'm very picky about Pokemon sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I'm like, oh, you're this type? I, I love you instantly. We will take control. Oh no. <laughs> They're taking over the stream. <laughs> what do you guys think is the best fighting type in your opinion? Lady Wham, there's a really weird old man here. My ninja is so cute. Hey, it's not nice to call people weird, you know. Anyway, I'm just a traveling merchant, so you can stop panicking. And I brought some extra special rare items with me today. I wonder if he has it. Well, this is a great chance. I think it's the best time to buy up some useful items. I've been saving my money. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh, okay, so he also has uh, some some stones that I need. Um, so I do need a moonstone. Give me a moonstone. I don't need any of the other stones right now. Um, The lucky coin is nice. This percent is fake. <laughs> it was a pretty good percent. Just not high enough, it seems. <laughs> good question. Never really used fighting types much. I know, that's why it's hard for me to think of any good ones. Increases energy to maximum level. Um, I should get um, a couple of those for emergency use. And I'll buy a lucky corn. Now I can give Oichi a moonstone and now her Jigglypuff can evolve. So let me trade your Jigglypuff charm for that very quickly. Just for now. 
And let's actually put you in a fight. So that you can evolve. Um, wow, there's a lot of those guys. There's a lot of those guys. They, 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 can, they can take care of that. It's easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'll give it everything I got. Bam. What is your range on that? Two. Okay, I'm just gonna stay over here, bruh. Bang. Pat, you missed, loser. It's always reminding me that I do need to update some stuff in Rock and Mew. I say that constantly and I just I forget on top of everything else that I need to do. I need to just sit down like for a weekend and just work on him. Because <laughs> that's how much work I need to do at him at this point. I think in terms of stat, the strongest fighting type is Mega Me 2X. Oh yeah, he is a fighting type, isn't he? Well of course it'd be a Mewtwo. Mewtwo never even needed a Mega. <laughs> They spoiled him with the mega. <laughs> of course you do. Of course you have sturdy. Ow! <laughs> Smacked in the head. Oh, that's right. I took off the Jigglypuff charm. I forgot. I'm stupid. Whoops! I'm so smart. I'm still shaken from the, the poor octopus. But strongest pure fighting type? Not sure. Hard to say because a lot of it depends on strategy, I think. Oh, this is a lot of damage. Never mind, it missed. <laughs> Ouchies. This is a lot of damage. I just want to evolve Jigglypuff. Is that so much to ask for? Go! Do it! And sturdy. That's okay. Now Jigglypuff can finish it off. You got this, Oichi! Bing! Victory is ours! Alright. Of course, this drill bear is almost finished out. 49 out of 50%. Great. Use you as much as I want. Here we go. Wiggly tough time. Oh my god, look how fierce she looks. She's like... She's gonna take no shit from anybody. She's like, get in my way, I dare you. One tough puff. What? Congratulations! Well, that's it? That's all you're gonna say about it, Oichi? Everyone else had, like, dialogue with their Pokémon. You're just like, great! Love it!
I like that for you. I had not blocked stronger slaps. Um, hmm. Not great to take care of either of these on my own. I need to move some people in here. Let's march. One, two, three. To be good with that. Yeah, it looks good. Let's go. Did you guys ever get confused with like the the Jigglypuff line, like which was the correct names? I always got them confused. I was always, I was always like mostly this not like the first part of the name, like the second part. Like I always thought I, I kept getting like thinking it was Igglypuff, then Jigglybuff, then Wigglytuff, because that made more sense to me. Cause you know, like it it sounds like the second part of the name is getting like stronger every time. But then it was like, no, it's Iggly Buff, actually. I'm like, but, but it's so much, but it's so puffy. It's so baby. Are you telling me this is the buff one? It was very confusing for me. You never knew the name of its evolutions, TBH? It was important to me because I had, like I said, I was memorizing Pokemon by by the like Pokedex order and everything. I had like, it was important to me to get the names right. Although it is true that it's not like you see the evolutions that much, right? <laughs> Everyone, you only see Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff is a true star. All you need to do is remember that they're in alphabetical order. Buff, Puff, and Tough. Yeah, that, that is how I ended up remembering it. Sometimes, to get stronger on the inside, you have to go from Buff to Puff from the outside. True. <laughs> Foolish of me to forget that. This thing is poison type, currently. Um, you levitate, so you should be fine, actually, to be on a poison. Go, Eevee, get him. Punch. I broke your wristband. Oh, this new bat's gonna end my Snivy's career. Ah, you missed! Loser! Oh, he's got Metal Claw. Nice. Good move. Ow. Oh, dear. That hurt. Hmm. God, the positioning on some of these Pokemon is kind of annoying. I can hit this one. And then I need to move Charmander to hit that other one. Let's do this. Smack it! Okay, that's fine. Um, This is fine. And eat it. Aya, yeah, you're pretty. Wham looks like she's chewing gum. Do I? Wait, what the heck? What? Why is my mouth moving? The, what the? What? Huh? Why is it moving? What? Is my, is my thingy broken? 
<laughs> what the heck is happening? Why does it keep moving? Stop it. Stop it. Hello? I'm... I'm... Huh? What? Okay, it's it's fine now. What what was that? <laughs> I couldn't control my mouth. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Hi, Zell. Yes, we are capturing capturing everything with Eevee. As, as soon as I get control of my body back. Oh my goodness. Um nom 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 nom. Um nom nom nom. That was the weirdest glitch I've ever seen. It must have been from all the pokes Wes gave me earlier. He was poking my stream trying to break it. And it works! Ow! <laughs> right in my face. I cannot be captured. I can't I cannot even possess myself. You cannot possess me. I am already being possessed by some sort of otherworldly spirit. <laughs> I'm still, like, baffled by what happened. <laughs> That's gonna be fun to look back on later. You'll get that Master Ball eventually. <laughs> That's true, I haven't seen the Master Ball in a little while. I think the last time I saw it was when Itamar got it. Yay, Aya can join us. Yes, please. Ooh, a 90%! Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Please accompany me. All right, guys, here we go. Another evolution. <laughs> Vaporeon is ours. Hooray! Ah, oh, look at that cutie. They, I guess they all have that one pose, but it's different for each of them. Oh yeah, they all have like the same poses. Vaporeon, it's weird, but I feel an even stronger power from you now. Do you get the same feeling? Let's see friends, Vaporeon. Umbreon's favorite. We can actually get Umbreon now. Because we have um the dark type place. Oh no, we have two Eevees. Hold on. Yeah. Vaporeon and Dilteon. Sorry, I'm eating some chocolate candy. I was eating a celebration chocolate. <laughs> I wonder which Pokemon sound like the most 56k modern? What does that mean? Delicioso. Let's look at um, our Pokemon actually really quick. I want to see which one would be best to take into the next kingdom. We have good options here. Um. There we go. Okay. Hydro Pump. Target is blasted by a huge volume of water. Water Hydro Pump's really great because it does a lot of damage. Um, increases range on water. So, comparing the stats, you'll see um, Vaporin has a lot of HP. Look at that HP. And um, otherwise, it, um, I think its best stat really is that HP. And that it has a lot of movability on water. Plus, Hydro Pump is a really strong move. Filtion has less HP, but a lot of attack and speed. Um, Thunderbolt doesn't do as much damage, but it's pretty good if you can organize it right. I think we'll keep Vaporeon so we can get some um, bond with it.
Modem. Oh. <laughs> I can't read. What are words? I don't know. I'm just gonna eat another chocolate candy. Ignore me. You, you guys have fun in there. You guys have fun in chat. You don't need me. Hello, Xavier. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How are you? A Ralt. <laughs> Just pick up a random Ralt. Just got done snow blowing the driveway. Wow, sounds like a lot of work. Okay, so they got a lot of poison types. They have a spirit tomb, dude. That spirit tomb dude is gonna be a big butt to deal with. Uh, do I have... I have Shinx. Blade. Blade would be good, actually. What do I have? Uh, print Plop I don't need. I have two other water types. Let me go and march you and... Hmm. I think I need three Pokemon, so let's do you, you, and you. Over here. I'm sorry, I like you, Shingen, but your freaking rock wrecker needing an hour, or sorry, not an hour, a turn to charge is not what I need. Okay, there we go. This should be a good team. They look ready for it. Alright guys, let's go and attack the other kingdoms. We got this. Oh wait, um... Let me equip the right stuff again because I don't need... Uh, da -da 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 -da. What do you need? You need... That'll increase your power. And you need your Jigglypuff charm. Um, that'll be good for you. Let's give you that. All right, now we're good. Charge! Lady Wham, Lady, or Viperia is a poisonous kingdom. So most of the Pokemon we'll find are poison type Pokemon. This means the grass type Pokemon will struggle, but ground type and psychic type Pokemon should do well. Yep, that's why I'm taking this Gallade with me and this Rhyhorn. I'm smart, I'm smart person. Don't you worry about it, Oichi. The time for battle is upon us. We'll need to be careful with that spear tomb, though. Hey, Wham! You're the one who's trying to fight Nobunaga, right? You naughty child! Uh, excuse me, naughty? Naughty? We're trying to save Ransai! I swear you said Vicuria is the name of the town. <laughs> Vicuria? I love that town, too! <laughs> Stop being so silly. If you don't learn to get along with people, I'm going to punish you. Isn't that right, Hideyoshi? Hideyoshi? 
Sure thing, Nene. You're Hideyoshi from Agnes? But you look so different. Surely you haven't transformed. Yeah, you do look different. Long time no see, Wham. A whole lot has changed since I decided to let you have my castle in Ignis. As you can see, Nene here is the one who's put up with me now. You got a mustache too. Did you have a mustache before? I don't think so. And I'll tell you something else that's gonna be different. This time, I'm just gonna beat you. There's like three main character looking dudes on this team. Don't worry though, mine is full of main character looking dudes. Yo, Vaporeon! God, I love Vaporeon sound. Naughtiness cannot go unpunished. <laughs> okay, Freakazoid. Oh, this is a banner one. Okay. Your first time on this battlefield, isn't it, Lamb? Well, Viperia is full of ninjas. You'll be amazing to see all the tricks they've got. All right, we got a lot of trap doors in here and a lot of poison on the ground. That's fun. Uh, we just gotta figure out where these trap doors go. Let's start off with our, let's see, where's the spirit tomb? It's on this side? Okay, let's send you off. You could be safe. Okay, that just sends him there. Let's go have you over there. If you land on the poison, you'll be fine. Did not land the poison. But that is poison, so I'm gonna be very careful with that. Alright, we're just splitting up. That Ekins is very scary looking. Or not Ekins, the Arbok. The Ekins looks fine. <laughs> I got I'm confused. <laughs> Help, um, hi. That's the one I didn't want to be near my Gallade. That's not good. And I can't do anything with it with Wigglytuff either because it's a normal type. Okay, that's not good. That is doubly bad. Okay, I gotta go and help them. Um, Oshawott actually will be able to help them out there. You guys, stay to retreat. Wigglytuff, I trust you. Oh god! <laughs> that was not where I thought that would go. Um... Can I move... Only that far, great. Don't just ignore the wiggly tuff in the back. Okay, that's fine. You can't poison me. Okay, he's going after Gallade, that's fine. I can do damage on that one. Come on. Yeah, let's do this. So I don't have to be right next to them. Can Rhydon make it? 
No, I can't. Okay. No one can make it but Vaporeon. That's fine. Okay. That is the downside of Vaporeon, is the range. You stay right there. And we'll have you start moving in as well. dude but uh you're toast Hideyoshi oh I couldn't get the snack oh yeah rocket me doesn't let anyone get the snack oh <laughs> okay let's do this hyper voice and then go through the shoot hey I'm back Oh, great. Intimidate. <laughs> this sphere tomb is, like, after my Gallade. Okay, that's fine. He's not poisoned. And Ekins is after Jigglypuff. Oof. Good night. Come on, hit. Nice. And smack. You wait here. You. Um. Go down here. Gonna be able to reach that panel, so might as well do this. Hyper voice. I love hyper voice. Oh, it woke him up. <laughs> That's fine. God, this intimidate. Oh, he's healing. That's right. The banners heal. Ouch. Is John Wambert real? Is Nova being funny real? Who knows? That's the real question. Go to sleep. Okay, let's heal up the Vaporeon. And get in there. Perfect. As long as I block off this entrance, my Jigglypuff should be alright. Thanks for the sleep powder. Ugh, I'm not able to do much, but I can do this. Raise your attack, and now this is the ultimate combo right here. And then I can put you here. Oh, 
Hiya. My accuracy. Nope, oh, he's healing himself. Shoot. Oh wait, he can't do it. He flies. Ha ha ha! If Wham owned her own medical emergency vehicle, it would be called the Whambulance. Yes. I'm, uh, putting a trademark on that. <laughs> what else sounds good with my name? Whammer sounds good. Whamulance. What else? What else we got, guys? I need to build my brand ASAP. Like, at this very exact moment. No. I don't agree with Whamber. Oh god, I death. <laughs> I meant to go back, but I got freaked out by the Pokeball. <laughs> oh no, that killed my Luxia. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, you guys scared me. <laughs> you killed my Luxia by scaring me, but hey, thank you. Oh my god, you got the Master Ball, you so congrats. <laughs> oh man, what an unfortunate series of events for me. But it all worked out very well. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. <laughs> it legitimately made me jump in my chair. Oh. Good job. This is an intense fight. Master Ball jump scare. <laughs> We did it! Zelnor is answering the question today with, I'm honestly not sure what Pokemon I consider underrated, but if I'd have to guess, I'd say Haunter. I don't know. You know, I don't think Gengar is, but then again, Haunter is not usually what people talk about. People just talk about Gengar, so I think maybe that counts. I think that counts. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Look at her Golbat's mouth! It's just so... <gasps> It's so cute. Oh, uh, I lost. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Looks like I couldn't protect my Pyria. Oh, he's so sad. Mopums or Mopsa, damn it. <laughs> damn it. <Ugh. laughs> I did it again. Mopsa is Tyro. Tyroge. <laughs> is it Tyrogue or Tyroge? I don't remember. It finally happened. What do you mean it finally happened? It's happened multiple times. <laughs> it happens all the time. He's permanently pogging. <laughs> oh my goodness. Rogue, like the d, d class, okay. That's what I thought, but sometimes I'm not sure. Yeah, that one I would definitely say is underrated. Don't hear about it a lot. But it is a pre-evo, so that also makes kind of sense. <laughs> That's a really cool evolution line, not gonna lie, though. It was, like, the first really cool evolution line. Other than Eevee, of course. <laughs> I couldn't repay Lord Nobunaga. I even though he let us keep looking after our kingdom after we lost to him. I guess he's going to be pretty mad now. We gotta get back to him, though, Nene. Lord Nobunaga isn't someone you turn your back on. 
Agreed, Ferret. Nova, I swear to goodness. He's the most powerful warlord of all. Lord Nobunaga is the only one who can help me fulfill my dream. Yeah, I guess you're right. And Wham, I guess you're not that naughty after all. Just take good care of Hyperia, alright? There they go. Okay, you know what? That's fair. The duet's evolving! Oh my goodness, the first 30 Evo! Well, other than Gallade, but he doesn't count. He was already 30 Evo. Yeah, look at that! Oh, he looks so epic. I love Samurott. That was my favorite starter in that gen. Oh, you know what I should have got? I should have gone. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Let us delegate. Just train, you know, just keep getting stronger while I... in the meantime. Name it Taco Bell. Unfortunately, you cannot name the Pokemon in these games, so... It is just whatever it is. Otherwise, I've been naming my Eevees. Alright, we're gonna crush Avia next. Should be very easy with what we got. Let me just relocate... Um, not you. Where is... Where is, um... Where's Shingen? Where did I put Shingen? Over here. Let me trade Shingen over here for this Rhydon, because Rhydon's not going to help us with this fight. Need more Eevees. True! More Eevees should show up next month, I think, based on how this game works. Alright, and then we can trade our Vaporeon over to the Jolteon. For this one. And yeah, we should be good with that. Our power is definitely perfect for this. Avia, you're ours! Avia? Well, it's home to lots of flying type Pokemon. Electric type, rock type, ice type, and a lot of types are effective against flying types. But ground type attacks won't work at all, so be careful! Don't worry, I got it covered. Oh, wait, I just realized something. Um... No, it's fine. Do I have anything for the Carnivine? Hold on. Um, I guess I don't have anything for the Carnivine specifically. It should be alright, though. Everyone's pretty strong. Yeah, I should be fine. I am ready to begin battle. Glade, I just realized, might have a bad time. But I already went here. You're Wham, right? The one who's too dumb to see that there's no point in fighting Nobunaga? Master Moon, please. Can't you say that there are ladies present? You can't talk like that. Who is this jerk? My ladies, looking at your beautiful faces. Why, I feel like I'm floating above the clouds. Back off. Hello. <laughs> We're all floating above the clouds here, you imbecile. <laughs> Peak Riz. <laughs> Wham, since you're a Pokemon, can you inform me when a mystery dungeon with Sprigatito is coming? What? <laughs> because I'm a Pokemon, I have insider information? I'd love to know if there was another Pokemon Mystery Dungeon coming, that's for sure. Although I kind of wish it they'd go back to the sprites, to the 2D sprites for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Don't keep me waiting. The sprites had a lot of character. Sorry about our warlord, his temper's a bit, you know, short. Get it? Because he's so short. <laughs> I know there may be some hack ROMs. That's true. There are some hack rounds. You know what? Actually, hold on. I might know the answer. Hold on.
Okay, there's no sprites out for them yet. So, still up in the air. One day it's going to be me, not Nobunaga, who unites the region. And not unless you start pulling your weight, Magoichi. Okay, okay. Man, he's a terrible boss. Alright. So, we just gotta make it over. God, they're really far away. And there's a lot to go in between here. Okay. Um, let's see. They have the... We should probably stick together but have one Electro-type with each group if we do split. So let's say... Oh, wow. Okay. Boing, boing, boing. Boing, boing, boing. Oh, he didn't boing all the way, okay. Let's see where they go. Okay, so they can't use the jump pads because they fly. Oh, interesting. Okay. Looks like they're all coming this way, which is cons kind of concerning. Ocean. And let's see where this takes us. Come on, bounce me. Samurai might not have a good time over there. Oh, okay. Bye. Wigglytuff's fine. Go, just don't worry about it. Alright, go Jolteon. They need some backup there. You're gonna wait here for a second. There's a lot surrounding the Sandrots.
Looks like the Braybeard can't do another attack yet, though. That's good. But this is gonna hurt my Samurott. Well, let's do this. attack without hitting those guys over here. Okay, I have an idea. I should be able to heal my Samurott. Yep. And I can put my Gallade down there for damage control. Let's heal. Ugh, you can't do anything from here. Should have had him jump on the panel, so he would have gotten there way faster. We did hurt their their uh, bird types a lot. Their bird types. Their flying types. Ugh. Bird. That's what they used to be. In a way, a world with Pokemon would be absolute chaos. Like, he's preventing some random Charizard from burning a village for fun. Why would Charizard ever do that? Oh, hey, thanks for the follow, Doc Wilson. Welcome to the Wham Fam. Don't know, maybe he's bored. That's true. You know, he just gets too mad one day. There, there would be a lot of uh, demand for water-type Pokemon to control that. But then again, they could go the opposite way, you know? What's to stop them from, like, um, drowning everything, you know? These are the real questions. I'm sorry, Samurott. Firefighters with their blast choices. Oh god, that would be too much power. Oh, it somehow missed. Bruh. Pretty epic. Ah, crowd, I can't hit him anyway. So wait, no. Here? There we go. Be more worried about Gyarados. They're known for their rampages. Oh, yeah. I guess at least Gyarados is secluded to a lake. But, um, that would be pretty dangerous. <laughs> There's a lot of problems. I mean, you saw, like, in the Pokemon movie, sometimes the legendary Pokemon just, like, duke it out with each other. And we know how that turns out. Be some protagonist kid to save the day. Oh, I'm sorry, Samurott. You did good. You did a good job.
I hope this carnivine is coming to finish off the Rhyperior. Go! Bam. Yeah, paralyzed. Snorlax in the middle of the road causing traffic jams. <laughs> no one would be able to do anything about it. <laughs> Good night. I've known that one balloon going around still- oh god, yeah. That's true. We didn't even think about those ones. Or like, what is the one? Hatterene? Where if like, it senses a negative emotion within like, was it five miles? It goes and beats up whoever's having that emotion. Requirements for police in that case know how to play Pokemon. <laughs> this is why everyone carries around Pokemon with them, is to defend themselves from all the other Pokemon in the world. <laughs> Strong, happy emotions. It was happy emotions? Oh my goodness. That's terrible. No, let's be happy unless they're going to get beat up by something with the strength of a wrestler, apparently. Jeez. That's terrifying. There's also Shedinja, where if you look in the hole and it's back, you just die. Oh god, no kid would be able to resist that. You would, you would need, like, I- How are they letting children wander this world? I would be, like, barricading my children in until they memorized the Pokédex and knew, like, exactly what dangers out there they could encounter. You would need to know everything, and that's the whole thing, is, like, you're constantly discovering new Pokémon. There's a new danger in this world every day. <laughs> Psychic type playing with your mind. It gets more terrifying the more you think about it. In all honesty, in the Pokemon world, humans should be extinct. Very true. What can we do? <laughs> we just catch them. <laughs> I feel a lot of those Pokedex entries are from people in the past and the whole superstition and not actually what happens, but people are too afraid to actually test it. That is true. You know what, Zell? That is a good point. Looking back at Legends Arceus, who knows how much of, like, what is written in the Pokedex is actually, like, legit. Because remember, the way Pokedex entries work is that whoever, like, someone discovers the Pokemon and they submit their Pokedex entry and it just, like, it's this living Wikipedia. But you don't know how much of what is actually written in that is true. A lot of it, it, it definitely is, like, exaggerations for, like, children. Going out on these journeys to fill out their Pokedex. A cadaver Alakazam would do your doing your tax returns. <laughs> True. Um, are you really going to back going back to Nobunaga Masamuni? I mean, if we're going to join Wham's army, try and think ahead a bit, Maguichi. I want to fight for the armor that will eventually reunite unite Ransai. And at the moment, only one army looks capable of doing that. What? My army has most of the kingdoms in it. Alright. I hope to see you again, Wham. Oh, you will. Also, there's a whole thing where people are supposedly marrying Pokemon. Oh, yeah, that's right. That that one book entry. Oh, Luxio is evolving. Nice. More evolutions. Let's go. 
Nice. Luxley is cool. Very impressive. It would appear that no one has been able to match you. Hello? You're Mitsuhide. Why are you... I heard that Zone was attempting to oppose Lord Nobunaga. I decided to come and see for myself who would be so foolish. I am here to inform you that your current course of action will only lead to defeat. I therefore suggest that you abandon this folly. Huh? That is all. That was Mitsuhide, one of Nobunaga's closest aides. There are three of them in total, and they guard his remaining three kingdoms. They're going to be tough opponents. So let's brace ourselves for battle, Lady Wham. I'd be an easy trainer Pokemon with real hands down. And this, I feel like everyone would be trying their best to actually be good trainers if Pokemon are real, because one, well, Pokemon are cool, but two, also, like, you you need to be good to survive. Absolutely necessary. So the fun part of this is now I'm at the point where, like, I just tell everyone, um, hey, just, um, you know, get money. That's all you need to do, really, is just get money. That's all you need to do, guys, just make me money. I love you, go. If Pokemon are real, I would have a cat. But which cat? Sprigatito? I'm gonna guess Sprigatito, because that's what you said before. Alright, so the last three kingdoms before Nubanaga is Nyxstorm, Valora, and Spectra, which are the furthest ones. It's Ice, Steel, and Ghost. They have some fun Pokemon in there. It's so cute. Huge head. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. He's got Agron. Agron and Metagross. That's pretty scary looking. And plus a Quagsire, that is like the scariest one of all, TBH. Uh, Lapras, Celio, and Muna. So they do have some like mix of Psychic in there. And then Miss Magius and Scullop. I got I love Scullopede. Miss Magius, Scullopede, and there's a Lampence and a bunch of other things. Now we do have some people who are training up. I should move all my best people actually. Um... Let me double check something. Okay, that's what I thought. You're not maxed out. You're 70, which is not bad, but you're not maxed out. But I couldn't move you there for now. Let me move you, let me move you over here. Then... What is your, with your tournament, actually? What is your percent? 70, that's not bad. But the other two are not great. You just realized the shape of the continent? Yeah, it's an Arceus. If you look in the top left corner, it's a big Arceus.
40, 42, 42. Okay, so these guys do not have their optimal partners at all. And then we have these guys. Let's just march them in here. And then trade you. Houndoom would be a great guard dog, TBH, but Herdia would get all the cuddles. God, and Herdia would get all the hair everywhere. Everywhere. All right, so let's train up these guys. And then I think after that, we'll probably end the stream and save the last three kingdoms for next stream, just to make it even more dramatic. So let me just see, who should I train? There's a shield on. I like shield on. Oh, but this one has Larvitars. This one has more, but shield on though. I'll, sp I'll split with that. I should be able to take them with just those guys. Why pillows when ferts are real? True. I would love a ferret. Yes, an almost six foot body pillow. They they're so big. And so friendly shaped. And they got like the cutest the cutest and happiest face. I would love to have a ferret. Cat, poor Egan's. <laughs> yeah, good luck catching if it starts running away though. For it's our speedy buggers. <laughs> I would hope that it wouldn't run away. That has some loyalty for it. You just need to force it. Yep, <laughs> you force it to hide. Oh god, this oh god, no apartment would survive a fur it with the zoomies. Nothing would survive a fur it with the zoomies. That is a downside. I don't think I could keep a fur to my current apartment. I think it's- God, imagine, you have a centret, and you have a centret. But, like, then you have to make sure it doesn't evolve, because if it evolves and, like, it- you don't have the space for that Pokémon, you are, like, screwed. There's, you know, Pokemon in theory sound awesome to have, but then you gotta think about like all the specific complications that come with it and it just becomes a mess. If you have a centret, then you have at least two. They're social creatures. True, true. Two centrants that you gotta keep from evolving. The only complication of having a Miascara is being extremely jealous. I don't know if I could go all the way up to Miascara. I'd feel too much like I have a roommate. If I get a Miascara, it's gotta start paying rent. <laughs> Oh, 
Also, if you have multiple Pokemon and you, you need to make sure they're not in the same egg groups or the same gender. You would have eggs everywhere. Oh no, we have, there, now there's like a lot of ethical problems with having many Pokemon. There's, there's going to be a lot of ethical problems coming up. You just reminded me. Mass breeding and abandonment. Then we would have to start facing the real complications of that. We can't take the games as base for what happens in the Pokemon world. Well, what else would we take? Yeah, that's my concern. Some Pokemon are like human-like intelligence. What do we- what separates them from us as people? They're like us, but better. <laughs> They're the ones who should be running society. Alakazam, they're gonna take over the world. Getting a Waylord in the same house, though. Uh, how would you fit a Waylord in your house, actually, Doc Wilson? How, how do you fit the Waylord in your house? <laughs> That's my question. I don't think you'd have a house anymore. <laughs> Imagine, imagine the complications of, like, the wrong person having a super powerful Pokemon. Like, some CEO getting, like, Giratina or something. I would be unhappy with that. You, do you know that the evil Pokemon teams with the evil bosses would be real? It just evolves from Whalemer and got stuck there. Oh no. Oh no. Poor, poor Whalemer. If, you, if you're not able to have a pool that can fit a Whale Lord, um, where do you live? And can I live there too? Some see you gets a hypno, starts advertising to people in their sleep. Oh no. Someone, some like company, like gets hacked. Packs everyone's devices with Rotoms. That's why I would have Masquerada. Dark type to avoid the scariest one. Psychic. <laughs> also cat. <laughs> yeah, a lot of a lot of the freaky Pokemon entries are in either the psychic or fairy type Pokemon. Or ghost. Those are the ones typically. Strangely enough, not the dark as much. The dark are just kind of doing their own thing. <laughs> They're just chilling. Oh, poor Cub Chew. Metal band made of dark types. <laughs> if Pokemon were real, you would be able to capture your great grandmother. What? What do you mean by great grandmother? Because some humans become ghost type? Oh, you're right. Oh my goodness. That's so weird to think about. Is where the ghost type Pokemon come from. Forget some company. Some hacker gets a Rotom and starts breaking into people's machines, stealing personal data. How do you stop that? You need to have a stronger, like a higher level Rotom. You need a level 100 Rotom to defend against the other, the other Rotoms. <laughs> Your toaster becomes sentient. You know, we're already kind of on the way to sentient toasters with all these AI stuff. We're not that far from that point of it.
There's a lot of folklore involved in the Pokedex, but I think some, is can some of it probably is canon. At least it seemed implied that way in the show, that some of it was definitely canon. Ain't that something to think about. Honestly, if Pokemon are real, I'd be spending most of my- like, I would just- I would be like, you know what, I don't need a job, I don't need anything, I need to just go out and catch some strong Pokemon, so I can actually live in this world and not, like, worry about- I'd be so worried all the time if I did not have strong Pokemon to protect me about something bad happening. <laughs> catch me living out in the woods with just my Pokemon. <laughs> I don't need anything else. I just want to live. <laughs> Also the whole eating Pokemon thing. Moo Moo Milk, Farfetch'd, Slowpoke Pills. I guess you I guess you do gotta eat something. That's true. And that would be the Pokemon. Fancy red or start with Magikarp on No no, we you can't eat Magikarp. If you've watched the anime, you've seen that like Team Rocket. I think James and Jesse, they tried to eat Magikarp. And it was just like Solid. It was like trying to eat diamond or something. Not appetizing at all. Yeah, it's like, it's got no actual, like, value to eat. We ate a lot of weird things. <laughs> Do you think that in this Pokemon world, humans would have adapted some, like, ability to withstand the world, though? Because, like, think about Ash. Like, a lot of stuff happened to Ash. He got electrocuted constantly by Pikachu, and he lived. He lived through it all. Do you think that, like, humans... Maybe it's not obvious, like, we don't have, like, a, like Pokemon moves or anything. But maybe, like, humans are, like, super durable in this world. Maybe that's what happens. Because, you know, if we lived- if you lived that long in the world of Pokemon, you probably built up some sort of, like, durability. There's- there are some people in the anime, some humans in the anime, who fight with their Pokemon. They, like, like wrestle with their Pokemon and stuff, like the fighting-type gym leaders. They go and they, like, beat their Pokemon up. They, like, physically, like, train with their Pokemon. I think especially if, like, you're raising that Pokemon, like, you you build up a tolerance for whatever that- Oh, sh- Damn it, I just attacked my Pokemon again. <laughs> oh, good, I missed. <laughs> Whoops. I keep doing that. Fighting types and wrestling showdowns. Yes, you understand. There's a lot of lore that states there was no difference between Pokemon and people at one time. We're just a very specific type of Pokemon. Do people IRL eat bugs? Do they eat bug Pokemon in that world? I guess you could. You could probably do that. I don't think it'd be very appetizing, but who, what's stopping you? Fear? So here is my theory, and hear me out. Have you ever noticed that there are large swaths of forest and land between towns? Because it's because humans are usually dying out. They don't take up as much space anymore. <gasps> oh my god, mobs. It's true. That's kind of scary. <laughs> Pokemon are so are actually causing mass ex you know what? I think I think it's necessary, actually. There's too many humans in this world. We take up too much space. I think I think this is just proof, mobs what you just said, that we need Pokemon to curb the human population. <laughs> We need to accept it. <laughs> we need to accept our Pokemon overlords.
Or maybe humans couldn't dominate enough because he Pokemon are equivalent in terms of evolution. Perhaps. There's a lot to consider in this theory of ours. There's a lot to consider for sure. gonna end today's stream guys next time we're gonna go further into the continent we gotta conquer Arceus's head and eventually make our way to Nobunaga himself but that's gonna happen next Sunday so we're gonna sign off here we're gonna go to the just chatting screen and head off with our raid um so let's go ahead and do that all right <laughs> that was a really good conversation though now I have a lot to think about in terms of you know I've always had those like thoughts when I was younger of like what if Pokemon were real and I of course thought of it in a much more optimistic way than, than we are coming to terms with now there are theories online saying that Pokemon World began due to a nuclear war that reminds me of the storyline of Pokemon Uranium a little bit but anyway, that's going to be it for today's stream, guys. Thank you so much for coming and taking part in just chatting with me, keeping me some company today. As a reminder, here's my schedule for this week. So, no it's Tuesday stream this week, and probably not next week either, it's looking like, because of my work schedule. We'll see how that goes. Um, but we do have our usual Wind Waker playthrough on Wednesday, um, so please come on by for more of that. We're going to be hopping onto the ghost ship, and if you don't know what that is, uh, It'll be exciting. Drop on by. Friday, we're going to do a chill art stream. Let me scoot out of the way a little bit so you can see. Um, that's going to be at 1 p.m. So standard time. It's going to be a very short afternoon stream um, because in the evening, I have some plans on a, another streamer stream. I'll send you guys more info when uh, it is more publicly available. But to look for an update on that on my Discord or my Twitter or uh, on Wednesday, I will talk about it a bit more as well. But yeah, that is going to be it for today's stream, guys. Before we head off, of course, I'm going to look for a quick rate target. So let's see who we can find. Um, and as a quick reminder, this VOD will be available on YouTube. We did have a little hiccup earlier in the stream. Um, so only the partial VOD will be available because the stream kind of died for a second. Um, to watch the full VOD, please go to my YouTube channel, subscribe there able to watch it as one very easy video in case you missed anything today and want to go back and watch it yourself. Bye-bye, everyone. Thanks for coming. Let's see who we can raid into. As soon as my Twitch loads. <laughs> and of course, if you guys have any ideas, please let me know. I love suggestions for people to raid. Do you... Hmm. Let's see. Nobody didn't know is playing Pokemon games right now. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing too. No one I know is playing Pokemon either. I guess not a lot of Pokemon stuff is going on right now, except for the Greninja raid. But uh, that doesn't seem very exciting, and I don't know anyone on my list right now who is doing that. Maybe I'll send you guys over to a uh, Minecraft stream. Let me double check. You're going live soon. That's exciting. But you're not live yet. <laughs> Otherwise, we could raid you. You should probably check out Zell, North, uh, Zell stream later if you guys have a chance. Um, we're going to go ahead and get into uh, Sharpie Chick. Sharpie Chick is doing some Minecraft. Looks like they've only been streaming for a few for 30 minutes. So, should be good to go in there. Alright, so, raid message is going to pop up in just a second, guys. Um, please subscribe if you have a chance to get access to my emotes and fun stuff on our stream. Um, 
We have a lot of emotes here made by me as well as a couple by Snacko. And there are raid messages. If you are subscribed, you'll get access to that Wham Wham raid with those Wham Wags in there. But if you're not subscribed, don't worry about it. We got another raid message just for you guys. With the singing cats, both work. Whichever one you want to use, go ahead and copy and paste that once the raid goes in. And I'm going to send you guys off to Sharpie Chick now. Like I said, they're playing some Minecraft, so please hang on tight for that raid to happen. Before I send you guys off, let me just thank you all for coming by, saying hello, saying goodbye, and all that stuff. Really glad to see you guys. Thank you so much for being a part of today's playthrough. Anyway, have a good evening, a good afternoon, a good morning, whatever it is for you. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys at our next stream. Goodbye!